it's going to be an emotional weekend, folks. It's going to be highs, there's going to be lows. And we have to realize that. And there are some people who may not want to come. And we have to respect that as well. Anniversaries are usually celebrated, but not this one. This Saturday marks one year since more than six inches of rain fell in about two hours in downtown Ellicott City, virtually wiping out Main Street and killing two people. Taking a look at downtown now, it is truly incredible how far the area has come. The buildings are, are in better shape than they were a year ago, for sure. The streets back in service, the sidewalks are walkable. But the spirit that makes this community Ellicott City is indestructible. Tuesday, Ellicott City officials announced a further commitment to prevent tragedy again. Four major flood mitigation projects costing about $18 million in local, state, and federal funds. These projects will allow us to retain more water in the upper reaches of the watershed, and they will improve the way we move water downhill. Basically, making water less likely to back up and flood the streets. While a lot has been done already, including the installation of various retaining walls around the city and drainage improvements in the West End, construction on the new plan is scheduled to start next year in hopes of slowing down Mother Nature's next fury. Although these projects will alleviate the significant amount of flooding, a storm like we had last year, folks, water will still reach buildings. And for more information on the events planned this Saturday for the one year anniversary of the deadly flood and to take a closer look at that flood mitigation plan, we've got some links on our website, WBALTV.com and our mobile app. In Ellicott City, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.